Well, greetings, everyone, and welcome back to episode 29, almost at the 30 episode milestone mark. It's been quite a journey, but we are going to beat the Baron. I can feel it in my bones. We're starting today in Zwao, one of our many, many, many regions. Uh, Zwao has just made it uh, to Large Village, which is fantastic. Uh, our foresters are busy clearing this hill here, uh, and that's because on this hill is where the next uh, manor house is going to go. Yes, that's correct. We are going to build the manor house up on this little hill here. It's going to have a fantastic view down the valley, a commanding view, if you will. Uh, and I'm actually going to put him in straight away. Um, and I'm going to put in the garrison tower as well. Uh, we are 35 planks away from making that happen, though. Uh, do we have someone on the saw pit? We do not. Let's get someone on the saw pit, shall we? I'm going to up this to 40. Uh, yep, let's get this going, guys. I'd like another retinue in. Uh, Zwao will give us that. Um, the next other viable location is Hofstetten. Hofstetten, however, is still working on putting up a medium church, and they're quite low on population. Still five families in Hofstetten. We had a rough uh, start to Hofstetten. Uh, juggling many territories meant it had a slow start. Uh, so we've only just reached a 50% approval uh, in Hofstetten right now. And more families, I'm hoping, will flood in. So we've been playing a bit of fast and loose with juggling people between food, etc. Although... 32 months of food here. We are absolutely rolling in food. Hofstetten is not, not starving. Uh, the other t other region that's been struggling or was struggling was Goldoff. No more. Goldoff is almost up on its feet again. Uh, I am thinking uh, what I would like to do now is I'd like to actually demolish this corpse pit. Uh, it is not where I wanted it. We're going to put another corpse pit in, um, but not there. Uh, this is a beautiful hill, this, actually. And we've been chowing our way back up into there quite considerably. You must be careful of uh, not moving those guys. Right, so where are we going to put the corpse pits? Um, I'm thinking, actually, this corpse pit's going to go out here. Although these could make lovely fields. Um, maybe the corpse should, pit should go in the forest. Because um, this is always going to be forest here, I think. Uh, so let's put the new corpse pit over there. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll loop a road in here. Hopefully we'll not be using this one too much. Uh, it's just in case we need to uh, keep it away from our fields. And this is looking gorgeous down here by the river. Um, I think I might have built these pods a little bit too close. Um, so it's kind of stopped the water here. It's built something random up here. But there you go. The water still flows through here. It's, you get what it is. I learned a lesson. Uh, I should do it more like I did over here. And so the road has a bit of a buffer, but man, it looks good with that stream in between. And we're going to get Goldorf up uh, pretty soon. We're going to get a tavern going. Um, we have hopefully some barley and flax coming in quite soon. There's a weaver's workshop on the way here as well. Um, and we can get some linen in. I mean, at the moment, the tavern supply is essentially what is holding us back in Goldorf from becoming a small town. Uh, which I think Goldoff deserves to become. Uh, so let's uh, just uh, let's go forward here. Yeah? We got uh, the manor is being built. Uh, great. Okay, so we're gonna get the manor in uh, very very soon, and then hopefully that tower up, uh, and uh, we will go from there. We've made progress as well. Yes, that's correct. The manor house is going up here, and so is our extra tower here. So we can hire more retinue. They still haven't cleared the trees in front of it. Uh, but that'll happen fairly soon. It's going to be a really good view from up here. Look at that. Uh, and the town is just, 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 just over there. So yeah, the villagers are doing a really good job at this at the moment. In fact, we've actually already got access to our Zwao retinue. And they are here. Um, I will wait until the tower is fully up though. Um, so that we can get them into uh, fully... Uh, fully kitted out retinue. Let's go in and check in in Hofstetten quickly. Hofstetten's got a church up, which is fantastic. And they've attracted a couple more people, which is fantastic. So let's have a look at what they kind of need. It's the clothing stalls, the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of those guys on the tannery, which I think is going to be good. 
Uh, we've got a stone cutter there. Um, we've got a saw pit that someone's on the saw pit. I'm going to put a family back on the log cutter's camp, uh, which feels like a good idea. Uh, we have some meat and vegetables in here. And uh, we could get the clay furnace going as well. But I think what we can do is we do... Oh, no, we need we need that family on the stone cutter camp. Let's get that family on the stone cutter camp. Get a little bit more stone in. Um, and then we can uh, set up a... Uh, a, a manor house here in Hofstetten as well, which is by far the tiniest of all of them. Uh, a little small settlement. I think we might try and get these up to level twos just now. We can get ourselves another, 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 uh, another, explore, another point, development point. But I think it's going to be a while until that happens. We need all these clothing store supplies in before we can even think about a level two. But we do have a church here, which is fantastic. It does put the flag in the ground, so to speak. I keep going back to Goldorf, because Goldorf is meant to become the bread basket. Uh, it is growing Goldorf uh, considerably. Uh, we've definitely solved the food problems here. Although we are not uh, pulling in as much, uh, as much food as I would like, uh, to be fairly honest. So what I think I'm going to do is I think... Uh, I am actually going to build another farm. Um, we are going to try and farm ourselves silly here. Uh, so we're going to go a farmhouse. I'm going to put this farmhouse over here. A little bit out of town. I might even put him up on the hill like that. Um, and I think what I'll do is I'll do a little thing like this. We'll put another farmhouse here and we'll get another set of fields running out here. We've got 31 houses uh, and we have uh, a full, so basically we've got one more, one more empty burgers plot in town. We're going to need those people um, for, for the, uh, um, to, staff, to staff those farmhouses. So we will do more burgers plots, which was always the plan. Um, I want to see how close I can get a burgers plot in here. Will it allow me? No. Uh, it might let me do that. Uh, will it let me do that? No, it will let me go to there. It'll let me go to the yellow line. Um, okay, if I do that, though, that'll get me three burger plots right in the corner, which I'm actually happy with. I'm going to put those in there. Um, and then I think what I wanted to do as well is I wanted to put a... I wanted to put a burger... I wanted to put one burger here. Um, sort of like... If I can like uh oh that could be quite a nice little burgage like that and then we do a burgage like this um in there we can get a can we get a burgage like that oh two burgages like that that are just homes uh yep let's slip them in okay and that'll that'll sort of corner this up here uh we do and i think we can oh no we're still short of logs okay um, I just wanted to check where that was because I want to try and get fields all the way up and around this. I think this mine is empty, although there's still a little bit of iron ore in there. Uh, where is our bloomery? Uh, we did have a bloomery around here, didn't we? Uh, woodcutters, small stable, tannery. Are we just, uh, are we just selling that? Let's just actually double check. Um, uh, trade. Um... We want resources. Uh, it's these resources here. Um, I think we should just be trading our iron ore, right? Uh, exports. Yeah. We don't want any of that. Um, we can absolutely just passively trade all of this. Because um, I do not want to actually create anything with that iron ore. Yeah. I just wanted to, to fuel our coffers, shall we? Hofstetten, we've got a clothing store up in Hofstetten, that's good news. That means that these guys are going to get their, their fuel stores and all that kind of stuff. Um, I would love to get some, I'd love to have people on here, that's going to require some immigration. So uh, let's let that happen. Um, I think I need 20, do I need 20 for this? Oh no, we can do the manor, we can do the manor, okay. Let's plan the manor, shall we? Now, Hofstetten's a very interesting case. Um, I'm thinking we do the manor 
sort of right behind it. Or we could do the mana like inside the circle. Um, but I'm thinking that this will get transformed into something else later. Um, okay, let's do... I'm thinking maybe th this is quite a nice place for the mana over here. Um, let's put the mana over here, shall we? Yep, let's do it. Um, do we have enough for a garrison tower? We don't. Um, but we would like to do that. So we will do this. Um, so let's just get a little bit more stone, shall we? Speed things up. Get a bit more stone in. Um, and then I think we need planks. Um, I'm going to up this quickly. A band of raiders was seen here. Goldoff. Uh-oh. Uh, where's Goldoff? Um, okay, Goldoff is here. Um, where are the raiders? Where are the raiders? Um, okay, either way, uh, we do... Oh, gonna... Where's our Goldoff retinue? Goldoff retinue. Out. Um, where is... Ekamal can come help, please. Uh, Wallbrand, you're close. Uh, Wallbrand, come out. Wallbrand... Let's get the wall brand out. Um, who else is close? Imrith is very far away. Uh, Zwal. Um, okay, there they come. Uh, Zwal is quite close, actually. Okay, let's uh, go to Zwal. Uh, we've got the we've got the tower up. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to really get ourselves a full another Zwal retinue. Um, let's let's upgrade them all. Um, and they're going to come and help as well. We're going to try to stop Goldorf from being burnt to the ground. The nice thing about this is it's also going to give us uh, a heck of a lot of influence. Which is what we need uh, to take on the Baron. So thanks Raiders. Thanks for that. Um, Dwal is coming in here strong. Uh, absolutely strong. So Dwal, uh, where's Dwal? Dwal retinue. Uh, you can come through as well. They they don't have like a very long way to go. Um, that did not even sap our treasury even slightly. Okay, we've got... Uh, I think these guys are going to have to hold off things here. Here they come. There, their raiders are there. Um, so we've got these guys. Have we got, uh, we've got some troops coming to help. So we've got troops flooding from all over the place. Uh, as well, retinue, even our Enric retinue. These guys, are, these guys have never been in a fight before as well, guys. Um, I think we're going to have a substantial force here. Pity we don't have anything to support um, from um, Hofstetten yet. Uh, but Hofstetten will come to the party fairly soon. Um, right, let's just wait for these uh, guys to arrive, shall we? Okay, so uh, our militia is still, or our retinues are still making our way over from... Uh, from uh, where's it, Ekenau and Zwal, but uh, we have our gold of retinue here, and we have the uh, militia from uh, Wallbrand who managed to get you fairly quickly. The retinue from Wallbrand is a little bit behind, um, but this is why it's good to have a retinue uh, in in town, right? Uh, let's just get these guys out here. They're gonna they're gonna bear the brunt of this. Uh, I think we we could probably take uh, these outlaws. Uh, with uh, just uh, our um, with just our retinue here, um, but oh no, there's 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 two groups of them. Okay, cool. I'm glad that we've got uh, support here. Uh, let's get these three guys through here. I'm gonna get the bows out on the side. I'm gonna get these spears over here, and I'm gonna get the the pole arm on the side here. Let's just see how this goes. Um, we've got to catch them before they they come in. Um, we got more guys coming in and support here. Um, so we should be able to hold them off fairly easily. Let's see if they break out the forest. Which way did they go around here? We don't want them to flank us. Um, I might move the pole on there in case we get a, a side ring. Uh, you guys can go on to fire at will, please. Where are these? Uh, there they are. There they are. Okay, wait. Let's just pause quickly. They are coming out of the trees here. So let's just pull you guys back. Let's pull you forward into this. Uh, um, here you go. Bows back. Uh, go for them. Yeah, here. Yeah. We're going to have the spears forward as well. Okay, so we've got a charge here. Um, we will pull you back. Bows behind them. Uh, there is a separate set of spear here. Let's hold them off there. Those spear. We'll go on to balance. 
This uh, the gold of uh, militia here. Oh, we've been slammed. Uh, taken the gold of militia has been taken from both sides. Um, we're gonna have to take these pole arms to hold those raiders there. Come support in support. Come, we gotta hold these guys. Gotta hold these guys. This might be a bit of a brutal battle. It's fine. Our gold of uh, retinue are gonna gonna do a slaughter here. I think. I'm glad we've got these bows uh, in the back here. Yeah? We got a rally. We've got an attack over here. Um, I'll, yes, I'm so glad we had the militia here. Uh, you guys go into defensive. Okay, you've broken one, broken two. Great. Uh, you guys come up the hill here. Um, I think we've probably broken them with no help from the other retinue. Um, yes, we, we've definitely broken them. Uh, oh yeah, this gold off this gold off retinue here got a good fight in. Assist those spears. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. We we've got him. We've got him. Charge up the hill, guys. Um, okay, cool. The the bowmen here are gonna get some nice shots onto them. Okay, let's uh, take that off, guys. No fire at will. Just uh, just stop. Um, stop there. Well, hey, we've broken him. Okay, raiders held off, everyone. All right, uh, so Walbrand, uh, Walbrand Militia, thank you so much for your service. Um, I actually think there's a lot of advantage to um, Ekanal, you can go home. Bao, you, we don't need you anymore. Uh, same with you, Walbrand. Um, we held them off. Okay, so uh, we lost, uh, I think, one man. Uh, one man from our retinue there. Um, not a train smash at all. Just hire another one. Uh, so that's good. Um, and that netted us. It didn't net us anything. Oh, it did. It did net us a bit of, um, of influence there. Enough influence, it seems, to go, uh, for all of the, for the rest of the two regions, which is great. But I do want, over here, uh, I do want another, uh, I do want another mana here. Oh, this has been built. Uh, is it been built? Yep. Uh, it's on the go. Okay, let's wait till this mana's up. Um, and then we will go campaigning again. Right, everyone, we're going to end this episode with another conquering of another region. But there's big news. Goldorf has made its graduation to small town, which is flippin' fantastic. It's done that by adding these two or these three burgers pots, these level three burgers pots here, which has now given us another development point. I'm hoping to get to full six here, partly so I can make use of the fertilization. But I think that we have a big harvest coming, so I'm going to unlock bakeries. Uh, look at this. We have 331 wheat coming, which is going to really boost things. So that means that I want to turn one of these level 3 burger plots, or one of these burger plots at the very least, into uh, a... So there's the brewery. I want to turn one into a bakery, um, one that doesn't have a, an extension. Um, we can do that, but we need five planks, okay? All right, we can do that. Uh, let's put, uh, the, where is the saw pit? Um, have we got, do we, do we really on 60? Okay, wait. Um, let's put this down. We'll put this down to maybe 10. Yeah, let's do it to 10. Um, I think... I think part of the problem is, is that our logging camp, yep, there's 28 logs in there. Okay, so there's minus 10 planks. All right, so the planks are already being used for things. Uh, the other big news is, is that we have orchards in. Look at this, we have apples. We have apples growing here and down here, I believe. Yeah, look at that, we're gonna have apples soon. We have apple trees, how fantastic is that? Goldorf is starting to become what I was intending it to be which is the food baskets of the region. Um, Hofstetten over here has also gained itself a, a development point. It is now a medium village. Um, so it has managed to rack up uh, 10 burgage plots. And I think that what we should try and do is we should spend this on forest management. Now I'm going this route purely so we can keep food up. Um, and also so that we can put someone on the trading house. Uh, let's put, no, let's put two. I only want one. Uh, and we can start doing some trading from here, which would be fantastic, would it not? Um, so there is clay here, which is very good. 
But I think that we will do some berry trade. We will export berries. We'll keep this at maybe... Yeah, let's keep it maybe 140. Um, we'll start making a little bit of money here. Uh, hide, I want to export hides as well. I want to keep these fairly high. Um, yep, we'll keep this at 20. Uh, I'm sure we'll get some hides through in here. Let's just actually have a look at our hunter's camp. Maybe I can get another person on the hunter's camp. Yeah, let's get another person on the hunter's camp. And the berry deposit. Uh, let's also get... Ooh, maybe I get someone else on the berries. Okay, wait. Let's go off there and onto there. And we've got a couple more houses coming up in... Um, or burgage pots coming up soon. Uh, in Hofstetten. Uh, so that'll keep this rolling. Um, we built a couple more along here. There's actually a lot of space in town um, for, for people to roll through. Very high happiness levels here. I might actually um, plot out a couple more burgages. Um, I want a couple more roads coming out of here because at the moment we've got a road that comes in there. Got one that comes out over here. Um, or maybe it would be quite nice to just have those two single ones. Um, it might be nice to have a road going here, a shortcut down to that way. Although I kind of like the loop. Yeah, let's keep it like that, shall we? Okay, um, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. And I think it's... No, you know what we're going to do. We are actually going to do a road out here. Just to keep the burgage plots interesting. So that we can do this. And we're going to build some. Um, I might do... Uh, I might do some long ones here, and we'll get some veggie patches in these guys, like that. Yes. And then over here, I will draw these like this, and we will get these guys in over here. Um, also long ones. This is, Hofstetten is going to be an interesting town. I want those long veggie patches in the back. Um, we're going to have to try an alternative ways to make food in this in this part of the world. So let's just plan this town out. It's already quite big, 63. But what we're really after now is celibates. So let's rally the troops, shall we? Um, I think I'm gonna get our um, our retinues out here early, um, partly because it takes them a long time. Um, and then I think I will also get the Imminrith spear here. Uh, the Volbrand archers and uh, spear militia take less time. And I'll probably also hire um, some, uh, what you call them, merc mercenaries, that's the one, um, to help us take this, um, which I think will be a good idea. Ooh, there's a, oh, there's a, that was a ruin. It's not. Okay, let's wait for everyone to rally, and then we will challenge the Baron, shall we? All right, it is a summer campaign for us, and uh, we have now assembled the men. There they are, getting into formation, so we have all of our militia at the back. Our spear, uh, every unit is strong. Our flags are flying high. So we got the bow in the back there. There are our pole arm units. They are legendary. And over here we have, and this is just absolutely amazing when you have a look at it from the front. Look at this line of men. Oh my goodness gracious me. I would not want to be facing that. Look at those banners. Right, so I also have, uh, coming in from behind, some mercenaries. And we've done that mainly so that the Baron cannot lay his grubby paws on them. Right, let's claim this with influence, shall we? We're going to go for celibates. All right, everyone, the Baron has thrown the gauntlets. He didn't even wait for us to reply. Um, he's just marched in, and he's marched in with his standard force. Okay, there is the battle. Okay, so now we know where we want to go. Let's, uh, let's maneuver our forces in here, shall we? Um, it's going to be a bit of a march for us. Uh, where are those Merc bows? Here they are. Let's get them in here and get them into that field. Um, we're going to march them through slowly here. Uh, I don't want to tire anyone at all. Um, so we're going to move our army forward. We just mustered here. It's going to be a hard walk through that forest. Um, but I think this plane, once we're done, is going to be good. Okay, let's reply to the Baron. Um, we know what we're going to do here, dude. Um, it is the same reply as always all right we've got a bit of a interesting tactical decision to make here our soldiers are currently making their way through the forest here the battlefield is over here what we could do is we could get them to lurk just over here 
which I believe uh, is still sort of in the circle of the battlefield. And then we could ambush them or, or jump them out the forest. Uh, that might be an interesting maneuver. So we're winning at the moment. Um, here is the battlefield. I think, I mean, we've just generally got more men. Um, we could probably take them with our retinue alone. But we're not going to do that. We're going to utilize all the might we have. And we are going to take, um, we are going to turn celibates. We are going to establish a little bit of a settlement here. Just so we can get our, I think it would be our 11th. Uh, yeah, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it'll be our 11th unit. And then we can um, uh, buff it up to 13 uh, with the uh, bows here. Okay, cool. Um, I see what's happened. We have our mercs over here, um, which I actually like. Let's 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 move these mercs forward, shall we? Um, and what we'll do is they're now in that uh, in that center corner. Um, okay, so what we can do is um, <clears throat> we can take our our pole arm there, our two spear over here. Let's take our bow and let's move our bow over here. Um, okay, so we've separated them out slightly. And then we've got our retinue over here. Uh, but let's, let's, let's bunch them like this. Uh, so the battle has begun. Uh, have they entered the circle? No, they have not. Okay, I wonder if they've seen us. Let's see what happens here. They are going to, I think, uh, march... Yeah, for our bows, I, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping they haven't seen us here in the forest. Um, and that uh, we can stay hidden. I think we're hidden. Um, and then we can surprise them with some, some tactics. Okay, it seems the Baron is splitting his bows off to the side here. I think he's going to try a flanking maneuver. But little does he know that I have my feared pole arm hiding here in the bushes and we're gonna go for him i think these guys have been absolutely 100 percent distracted uh by the mercenaries i have placed over here and i think that what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge them out the forest uh with the, these guys uh right let's uh let's see the uh the bow here okay they've they've decided that they've going to i don't know what they're doing oh they have seen they have seen these guys, so let's maneuver the bow this way. Okay, so they're be, they're being distracted uh, completely. I want them to go a little bit more. Let's. Uh, you're on missile alert. I want them to march a little bit more, perhaps, um, and then uh, we will charge them. I'm going to maneuver these bows to come out behind. Uh, I think that we can deal here with these guys uh, almost exclusively like this. Um, you guys can open fire as soon as they get close. They are completely unaware that we're in the forest here. Um, okay, let's see. We've still got 36. Um, no one is, no one has been hurt by this at all. Um, maybe we should actually even charge, <laughs> um, charge them. I mean, effectiveness is at 167%. They have got full energy. Okay, wait. Okay. So we're going to charge. Okay, we'll charge them. You guys come around here and uh, open fire. And then these guys are charging here. So what we're going to do is we're going <clears> to <throat> move them backwards. Um, yep, we're going to move them backwards. And we're going to start running these guys out the, f out the side. Let's see what happens now. Uh, let's see what happens now. We're going to come for you out the corners. They're going to see us now. And they're going to realize... They're going to realize they've been done. Okay, so we got the spear coming out from behind. Uh, let's let's bring the, the militia through. And then you guys can come over here. You can leap through to the side. You guys are coming through from the back. Okay, they've probably seen us now. Yeah, oh, this is charging. Look at this. This is absolutely charging here. They've, they've, they've been caught on the toes. They've been caught off the toes. Look at this. Uh, okay, well, these light mercs there are gonna try. Um, let's go, let's take one of these units. You're the closest. You guys, not that we actually worry too much about these guys. They've charged over here. Uh, okay, we've got an attack over here. 
Uh, let's just move here. Oh, okay, this didn't go quite to plan. This didn't go quite to plan, but uh, we can hold them here. Uh, they've, they've, they've been distracted over here. We've got these spears. Uh, these guys are retreating nicely. I think they've got a, they managed to get a couple of those mercs over there. We've broken this unit here already. Okay, these guys are going to come through. Um, have the, how have the, how's this going down here? Let's just pause quickly. Okay, we've still got our pole, pole guys chasing there. Okay, let's bring these guys through. They've been quite useless. We can bring them through here. But I think that we've we've easily got this. Okay, go for this. Okay, um, you guys go over here. Uh, oh, that, that, these guys are going to hold these bows. Come out this way. Uh, lost this way, guys. Run. Um, okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, we got to save. Okay, here comes a, here comes a clash over here. We'll put them onto stand ground and stand ground and you guys go for it destroy them okay we've got them here um now you guys come out behind and then come out behind the pole arm are busy chasing down the the broken there you go they've broken them here and we can bring the bring the retinue in for the charge yeah look at them go come on guys into the spears are holding these guys here We've got literally, uh, literally, okay, guys, in the backs, in their backs. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay, we've pinned them. We pinned them hard. Uh, okay, um, Mercs, you did your job. You did your job, guys. D dude, I, I promise you, it is it is the same answer every single time. Um, this is mine. Uh, Celibates is mine. Oh, look at my force coming in here. Uh, push forward, guys. Come on. Take this off. Push forward. Will everyone push forward? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a mess. And we've got them out. And we will get them out pretty soon. There's no way that they are... Uh, their morale must be absolutely uh, dropping like nothing on earth. There you go. We've done it, everyone. We've done it. Victory. Okay. Our poor arm are still chasing, are still chasing those guys. But they chased them so far and well outside of the, the map here. Okay, just clean up these clean up these dirty mercs here. Eh? Clean them up, shall we? Or oh okay, no, they've retreated, so they don't uh, they don't at all. They've just given up. They have given up. And that is it, everyone. We have celibates. It is ours. And we now have the Baron really in the back foot. We've painted him into a corner. He's got Nushlone left. We are going to, in the next episode, which will be episode 30, uh, we will build Celibates up, get ourselves the last retinue, and then episode 31 will be the final, the finale, and we will take Nushlon and beat the Baron back uh, once and for all. I think we've done exceptionally well here, from the small beginnings in Warbrand to taking Celibates and painting the Baron into a corner. I am very happy. All right, forces... Uh, you can march home. Most of you come from Fort Brand anyway. Uh, apart from you, uh, you guys, you guys can completely disband. I have no need from you anymore. Awesome, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always an absolute pleasure. I will see you all for the next episode. Until then, look after yourself. I am The Beard, signing out.